Hey everybody, it is Quicken and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a pretty big McDonald's toy unboxing. So I went to the flea market over the weekend and you know, it was a good, it was a good flea market for McDonald's toys. Not all of them are. And then some of them are really good because the thing about McDonald's toys is they really have no value. The I grabbed one that might have value. Not really, like not even this one has much value at all. He's small, a tiny little boy. Olive is with me. But what is cool about my little haul, and I tried to grab like a variety of things. These are all toys from the 90s and I did manage to get a McDonald's box. This is the Mulan box. Um, I love McDonald's boxes. I love to assemble them. These are fun memories for me. You know, as far as prices kind of go, I didn't get a really great deal. I have one other video on my channel that I think you guys liked. All of these range from 1990 to like 1995. Great search for all of the Chicken Nugget Halloween costume toys to where I unbox toys and I really did well. I went to a really crappy flea market and the person did not want the McDonald's toys. They were like, you can pay me $10 for all of them. And at the time I was like, I don't need all of those. Now, I'm, now I always think back and I'm like, I should have taken them up on that offer, I would still be unboxing them. Here, I have kind of a great little mishmash of toys. These will be in order of their like release, and I'm actually wrong. I have a couple from the year 2000, which is not the 90s. So the first one, and I, I vividly remember this one, and this is Amazing Wildlife, and this is the African elephant toy, and you can see him right here. I love him. I, I really do remember this. So I don't know if you guys remember this too, but here we go, opening these up. They have been preserved all of these years. My brother is not this old, but... So opening him up, oh, he's got like dirt on him, how? Oh. Here is the little elephant. I actually have the buffalo version of him from the same collection. I, f I feel like in this room, to be honest, my grandpa does flea markets and he kind of knows that like I'm into this. He got me this really cool like Ronald McDonald train for Christmas that I did not open. It's still in the box. All of it's in the Happy Meal box. It was all just like safari kind of animals and you can see he's like really dense he's not like a he's not super squish he's pretty structured little felt ears and then a little tail and you might remember he has a little mouth Ooh. what do you know about this what do you know about this so the next one is from 1995, and when I was at the flea market, I saw a complete set of these for $10, and the person like had them in the bag and had them preserved, and I just felt bad about buying it, knowing that I was going to open it. So I did skip that, but I did buy her individually. Barbie, Japanese Barbie. So I want to say that this was like a collection of Barbies from all around the world. I feel like I remember like a Barbie with roller skates. I definitely remember the like African Barbie because I remember she like, I believe had like fabric on her that you could touch. Yes, she does have like, her dress is like fabric that you can touch. Kind of like, there's her legs. Her hair is like kind of like mine today, a little crazy. I'm not sure if she was supposed to have two ponytail holders. She definitely just has the one, but she has real hair and these are plastic. So when I was a kid, I used to love, love, love all the Barbie toys. If you remember the McDonald's box that would come with Barbie toys was usually some sort of like castle that you could assemble or some sort of place where they could hang out. Those are my favorite kind of toys where you could interact with the box. So I'm trying to cover like all the McDonald's toys bases and what would it be without 
a Beanie Baby from 1998, and this is Zip the Cat. So earlier I mentioned like McDonald's toys and ones that are worth money. So you're not going to get much money for anything out of a collection. So if you were to have a complete collection of Beanie Babies, like this is number 10. So you'd have to have like one through 10 in order for it to be worth anything. And then, you know, at that rate, it's only worth like, you know, $20 for a complete collection, which seems like kind of a, a lot to, uh, collect and hold on to but here is it was zip zip um ty.com we were online then here he is he's just a little cat i think that these are really really high quality toys like to be honest when i was a kid um we would go to mcdonald's and just try to buy these outside of the happy meal it's always the beanie baby toys that i think are some of my favorites i feel like they're really just like a toy. They're really like a toy. So this is Zip, a friendly little friend. Um, his little whisker is kind of smushed, but he's been in there for 20 years, so I don't blame him. Bad hair day. Really, really cute. Really high, like I said, high quality. Getting this kind of toy, I don't know. I feel like for parents, it's almost crazy to turn this down because you're like, I'm feeding that kid. That kid's got a toy. It cost me $3.18. Here you go, Olive. This is your brother. So next we have Tamagotchi. So Tamagotchi, this is actually a toy that would be worth money if you had a complete collection again. So I remember Tamagotchi, but I don't really remember Tamagotchi toys from McDonald's. I don't know if my mom was keeping me home in 98, but I really don't remember these, so I'm pretty excited. And this is Tamagotchi key ring toy with figure. So this is like a decent key ring here. And it looks like this. And there's something inside. I feel like maybe it's like an activity inside, like a little poly pocket kind of thing. Oh, jeez. Here's me breaking it. 20 year old toy here. Ooh. Oh, there is a dog inside. Tamagotchi fans, who is he? I did not think it was him on the front, didn't translate. Seems like a lot of technology for such a thing, but very cool. I don't know how excited I would be to get this in my Happy Meal, but I kind of don't really remember Tamagotchi super well. Like, I had one in school, and I think this is like everybody's story. They banned them in school, so I wasn't really interested in them anymore. So next I have this Furby toy. And now that I'm looking at it again, I feel like it might be a knockoff. So there's no, it's not like the traditional, like Ronald is on the front with a number and everything. It's like a plastic bag. And then on this piece of paper on the inside, it says Happy Meal with Furby. So I'm not sure which number Furby this is. It says McDonald's right in there. Maybe this is a toy from dare I say another country um and I say this because I don't know if you can see this writing on here which isn't like any of the other toys why did I grab this so a Furby toy in a complete collection is one of the more valuable Happy Meal toys but it's the plastic Furbies not the plush Furbies so this is a plush Furby um Oh, he's weird. He's a freak. Here is the piece of paper. It says Furby Happy Meal Toy. And here are some instructions. These were a little jarring to me. It says you can squeeze his foot for music. Or you can feed him gum. What the? What is that? My Furby doesn't work. I mean, he's been in here for 18 years, but... So the first image is like, I thought it was him chewing on a piece of gum, but I think it's like that piece of paper that you pull out of electronics. 
which is here. Did somebody already open my freaking Furby? He's dead. Here you go, Olive. So next I have a Burger King toy and I'll tell you why I got this. So if you remember your youth as a young American, Burger King had the Pokemon franchise. So Burger King used to have those really cool like gold plated Pokemon cards, which like uh, probably were $10 retail. But I remember when I was a kid, I would keep them in like my secret spot because I was like, these are worth millions of dollars and I'm not even gonna play with them or take them out of the box. These are my, this is my retirement plan, my gold-plated Pokemon cards from Burger King. Burger King had the Pokemon franchise on lock and I was always like a McDonald's kid, probably because that's what my mom ate. So us switching to Burger King so I could buy Pokemon toys, like, was a big deal. So when I saw Mini Game Boy collectible with the Pokemon badge at the bottom, I really just had to get it. These like bags you can't see through are always a great, great time. Let me know if you remember switching to Burger King for a little while. Burger King, Burger King has, has always been better too, but I always did McDonald's. But when I worked at McDonald's, I had a friend who worked at Burger King and we would do trades and I got in a lot of trouble. That's pretty sick. Wait, there's something else in here. So, mini Game Boy collectibles. This is like a little pamphlet, which I am into. You could join the Burger King Kids Club. Does that expire? Because, let's see, you have to be ages 4 to 12, so technically expired. Insert the mini cartridge into the Game Boy collectible. Open back to reveal a Pokemon. Who's that, Totodile? All right, let's figure this out. So on the front, it is one of those like games from the dentist where you have to like just do this, but let's see who's in the back. Oh my God, it's Diglett. We have a freaking Diglett in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. And I have a coughing game. So you take the game out, put the game in here. And now the buttons work. Oh my God, yes. This is, this is amazing. This toy was free. But I'm, I'm really glad it's part of my life now. It's like an amber. Well, it's made of plastic, but I'll always, I'll always get a Pokemon toy if I can find one. This was sick. So moving on, you guys probably remember these if you are a badass bitch currently. And these are the Hello Kitty keychains that they had at McDonald's for a little while. Obviously, I grabbed a Bats Maru. And these came with stickers. These were hot shit. And they had like a little pocket. I don't know if you remember. Put a quarter in there for your Aldi shopping cart. So your little pocket for your, your bus token. And this is a little active keychain. And it's like glitter purple and it's this kind of keychain, you know, for children. Here are these stickers. These are good. I was that kid who like just never put my stickers on anything. So if I had these, I probably just put the stickers somewhere nicely and was like, I'll wait for a special occasion. Dog, you're nine years old. What? So when I saw this toy, I was like, I don't even know what this is for. You see Ronald and he's in a pretty weird uh, predicament here. No numbers or anything and this is a blank toy and it just says toy. I don't know if you guys remember the 101 Dalmatian toys when we were kids, but they all came in these blank like white bags so you couldn't see who the Dalmatians were. I had a lot of theories about that because I kept getting the same damn one. But I remember we would bring those toys out for Christmas because I believe like the they were mostly all Christmas related. And to this day, I think some of my 101 Dalmatian Christmas McDonald's toys come out every year when like my grandma decorates. Someone held on to these for 20 years. This one's hard. John? What? Oh. Oh. I 
remember these toys. You could get, like, anything, right? Like, you could get any character. I remember these. I remember they weren't fun to play with because they couldn't come off these bases. But I had a ton of these, too. Winnie the Pooh, I think. Yeah, I remember I had, like, Mickey Mouse from Fantasia on one of these little displays. I have two more toys left, and I grabbed this toy um, because I wish I would have received it when I was a kid. Oh, I'm sorry. It looked like this. Does that help anybody? So this is Polly Pocket, and this is Rick with a four-wheeler. And I don't know what year this came out that I wasn't playing with toys anymore because this would have been sick. I collected Polly's. That was like the toy I played with. Like I, we really didn't play with Barbies. We really, really played with Polly's. If you remember Polly's, they were little plastic characters like this. And then they had silicone clothing that you could dress them in. And if you remember Polly's, there was only one boy character and he came in like a, like a, a Polly booster pack. It was like $3.99 and it came with him and same color scheme, he had like a purple visor, a purple sleeve baseball tee, and like pants, and he was the only boy. So between like Justine and I, not to air her out, we had like five of them because they were the only men to like be in the family, but there were so many like female Polly's that you could have. So we would like I don't know, like we would have one with the visor forward, one with the visor backwards, one without a visor, so they would all be different people. So if I could have gotten him and a vehicle, that would have been dope, played with Polly's. I should actually just send this to Justine. This is my last toy, and I just remember this from being a kid. I do not remember the movie Dinosaur, but I do remember these toys. The older ones were much easier to open. <laughs> I remember these. My adult hand does not fit in here. Yes, it does. So that was just it. I remember being a kid and being totally bummed to get this in my Happy Meal. I hated this thing. There were like four others, I believe. I think it's one of four. Yeah, so this was number three. I'm pretty sure it was like one of four and when I got this, I was like, can you, is there like a, a baby's toy you can sub it with? Can somebody give me a plush grimace? So this was my McDonald's unboxing toys part two. You can check out part one. I'll leave that linked. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Having my P.O. box open for the last like two years, you guys have occasionally sent me McDonald's toys that I just open on the spot. So thank you guys so much. I have never neglected them. I've just always just straight up opened them. This isn't a part I play on camera. This is exactly who I am. So thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, so I probably paid around like $10 for all of these. Uh, if you are like a McDonald's toy collector or you like to open them, um, I would say a dollar is on the high end to pay for these. But you can haggle. I got this box for free thrown in, which is cool. And someone had been holding on to this since 1998. And when you know, I already popped it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, smash that like. Um, and if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 200,000 subscribers by maybe December. So if you're watching, you can do us the biggest favor and hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out. Hit that goal. And thank you guys so much. Until next time. Bye.